all you beautiful beings out there in the universe. It's the AT Alien here, aka Imani Joa, back with another video. To those of you who are returning, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. To those of you who are new, welcome. Hello. Hi. <laughs> it's so nice to see you guys. So today I just wanted to come and share my gratitude for the experiences that I've had here thus far in the Gambia. This has been an eye-opening and changing experience for me overall and I just wanted to show and so the first thing on the list I want to say uh, is that people here are so nice like really some of the nicest people I've ever met they will open up their homes to you open up their hearts if you if you meet them for the first time they're like we're friends now and honestly that was a little bit jarring at first because coming from the west I'm so used to like kind of being on guard a little bit like being open and welcoming as well but people here take that kindness to a whole nother level even like compared to growing up in the south this is like a whole nother level someone can meet you today and they're like hey if you're in the area we're we're near my family's house and they're making lunch come come have lunch with us come eat and join us and like it's really that open I've had plenty of um meals with people that I just met that day and they're just like no here you're welcome to uh, partake in my food and we're eating from the same plate and just sharing and laughing in that experience and it's been eye-opening honestly to be able to um, have that sense of community have that sense of openness and welcomeness uh, especially when you're in a new land a new country and you're just like whoa I'm I'm new here and everyone's like yeah you're new so welcome let us show you around and it has really been um, a hospitable experience Secondly, I'm so grateful to the nature, like mother nature is at a 10 here. Like having the beach 20 minutes away, if not like a quicker uh, express to it, like 15, 20 minutes away, I've never experienced that and it's been great like just to be able to up and decide like let me just go down to the beach today and relax the the ocean is just there welcoming you I greet the sun in the morning even the little birds like some people won't believe me but there are birds that just come to my window and just like will peck at the the window and just say hey good morning and I think that's so cute they're so little and like it does brighten up my day when I wake up in the morning and I see a little bird coming back in at my window. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, hi, good morning, how are you? Um, so I would just say nature here is, is uh, you can't compare it, you really can't. The sun is shining down, I feel sun-kissed, uh, the winds are always blowing, at least in my mind. Like some people might be like, nah, it's kind of hot. <laughs> it's like Atlanta heat, but like, um, not even like I think Atlanta gets hotter in the summer than it has been here honestly so in the Gambia it's not as hot I do feel that breeze coming through even right now I have a breeze coming through my window so that feels good um and yeah I just say nature has been like on a 10 even seeing like the um uh, some of the goats and some of the uh, the cattle walking around every everyone is free here that's another thing like you are just so free and so like carefree do what you will we got cats dogs goats and cattle that just kind of like roam the streets independently but they know where they're going and they're guided but like it's free you know and you everyone is respectful enough to be like okay let's stop the the taxis and let the the cattle go through oh we see this little dog trying to cross the street let the dog cross the street you know it's just very laid back easy going everyone is free everything is free here um, again with nature the abundance of fruits and foods here like I've never seen a real cashew apple like prior to coming here I thought cashews I don't know how I thought cashews came to be honestly I just got them from the store and I ate them but coming here I have so much um, more of appreciation for the things that I have and the things and where they come from and how they're harvest like it's a cashew apple is like this big if not bigger I've seen some like this big and the little pit or the the nut is at the top of it and then the rest is I don't know how to explain it I wish I had one to grab right now uh, but the cashew trees are plentiful and coming here I've seen like fruit and vegetables in their most natural state and that has kind of like blown my mind because it made me realize of like how ignorant I was to like 
<laughs> regular regular things of like farming and how mother nature just provides like um we have our own mango tree here i i guess i never had a real mango in the states because coming here i had a mango i was like this is the most delicious thing i've ever tasted it's so good it's so sweet and then also it turns out i'm allergic to mangoes that's <laughs> that's a new experience too I still eat them. I don't care. You just get like, I just get like a little tingly lips. It's all good. But yeah, so I'm learning new things about myself. I'm learning new things about nature and it's so cool. So uh, I would say if you're traveling and you're thinking about coming to Africa, check out Gambia. It's so great. It's so cool. The people here are so nice and they're welcoming. Uh, you also get nature all around you. Like there's an abundance of cashew trees, mango trees, um, the jelly coconut trees. Like I'm actually learning how to identify nature and being like, oh, look at that leaf. That looks like um, a cashew leaf. Even if the, the apple isn't on there, I know how to recognize them now. And I'm proud of myself for that. I can say, I know what trees um, produce fruits. Wait, what? I know which trees produce fruits. Yep. So, <laughs> um, what else? There has been so much. Uh, like I said, just being able to explore the country with people who I've just met and they're just like, hey, yeah, I'm, me and my friends are going down to Kartong. Come visit, come hang out. And I'm like, sure, yeah, why not? I got to go um, have like fresh seafood fished out from the River Gambia because I was open to experiencing a, a new side of the world but also just open to the experience and i think that's what i've also learned here is just to be open to experiences and don't take uh people's kindness as like what are you doing because that's another thing <laughs> i don't know if this is the fourth thing or the third thing i don't know but chivalry like it's not dead and i think that was something to get used to is the fact that men will just be like hey and at first I'm like, what? What are you trying to say to me? And then they're like, hey, would you like to sit down? I noticed you've been standing here for a while. You can have my seat. Or like when we're out in the grocery store and my mom and I are shopping, if we have a lot of um, groceries in our bag or like in our little tote, they will they will come by and carry it for us. And it's so, it's so kind and a little like, what? You actually... Oh, thank you like you know it's like mind-blowing not not to say that you don't get cat call for ladies out there you you do get cat call people will be like hey beautiful or how you doing or you know whatever but also don't be surprised if someone will come up to you and offer you a seat or if they go out of their way to open your door if they go out of their way to help you with um your groceries or if you're carrying something heavy people men here will go out of their way to help you and that is a beautiful thing so chivalry is not dead especially not in the gambia here um, i'm also grateful to the opportunity of reflection that i've had here like being here has really given me the time and the space to like sit down decompress and really process the year that we've had not only just being here in the gambia but also <laughs> the year 2020 i don't think i ever really sat down and processed all that was happening at once so um, just having the time and the space to do that, to clear my mind, to really reflect. I'm learning so much about myself, learning um, what it is I need to do to grow, how can I grow, how can I be more open with not only the people that I meet, but myself included. And it's just been nice. Like it has, on that front, it has been very emotional, emotional because, um, you know, some things have to come to the surface in order for them to come through and then be released. But it's been very cathartic, like, especially with the rainy season here. I love a good, nice, like, rain. The rain, to me, feels very cleansing and cathartic. So when it's raining very hard, I feel like my emotions can come to the surface more and kind of release and, like, be washed away with the rain. And so that's been very nice, just to be able to sit down, reflect, and to breathe <laughs> like whoa it's been a minute since i like sat down and <sighs> took a breath like i didn't realize until coming here like how infrequently i was breathing or like holding my breath so it's been nice to come here and just to take a breath and to breathe and to really reflect on my life the choices i've made 
the path that I'm going on, growing and evolving every day. It's just been really cool. And so I have the Gambia to thank to that for that. I have the Gambia to thank. <laughs> so um, yes, I just wanted to come here and share those things with you all. If you're planning to come to the Gambia, I would recommend it. Just know um, with moving anywhere, you have to have your mindset prepared for the things that you're going to encounter open. I would say be open to experiences, be open to meeting new people. It's, you know, it's not what the media projects and it's also what you make it. Uh, and this experience, I feel like I've really been making it all that I can and I've been really learning a lot. So I'm, I'm grateful. Thank you to the Gambia. Thank you to the people of the Gambia. And to all of you who watch this video, thank you so much for getting this far and I hope to see you next time. All right, bye. <laughs>